The following program is rated TV PG. Some scenes may be too scary for children under seven. We suggest watching together as a family. Spend all day in your room. Why don't you uh, take a walk around the neighborhood? I've seen lots of kids your age playing outside. Mom, I don't have anything in common with those kids. Well, how do you know unless you talk to them? Do you want me to try to introduce you? No. Okay. All right. I need to clean your room, so at least go outside and get some fresh air. Come on, scoot, scoot. Okay. What are you looking at? Do you like space travel? What? <laughs> Never mind. all this stuff and well I just happen to have some clothes that would be perfect for a boy just your size this would look so nice on you and I have some dress shirts and dress pants and well I think there's even a sport jacket around here that's just your size that's okay I'm good of course you're good I know you're good wait don't leave yet I bet I know just what you'd like it's around here somewhere um <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Uh, wasn't very easy for me to part with this, but I think you might be just the right little fellow. Tell me, do you like space travel? Well, that's my thing. It's all I think about. So, you're a spaceman. I wish. I collect outer space toys. I don't have one of these. I've seen them online, though. See, it has a, a two-way intercom. Yes, that's so you can communicate with other spacemen. They're usually sold in pairs. Where's the other one? How old are you, young man? Ten. I knew it. A magic age. Old enough for adventure, but still untroubled by the vexations of the adult world. May I try it on? Please do. Perfect. Tell me, do you have someone you can play spaceman with? Not really. I just moved here. An only child? Yes, ma'am. No friends in the neighborhood? Nah. And you don't want anything for it? Not a thing. In fact, you'd be doing me a favor. Take it. Really? Wow. Thanks. See ya. Enjoy it. And enjoy your childhood. And here you come in. Now what do you have? 
a space helmet. It's circa 1959. This old lady was throwing it out, so she gave it to me. It has a two-way walkie-talkie system and everything, but she only had one. I like it, though. <laughs> Did you see any other kids while you were out there? Yeah. But, uh... I don't think they really wanted anything to do with me. That's just because they don't know you. Yeah, I guess. Well, I think I'm gonna go hang out in my room. Okay. Without a battery, there can't be any transmission. It's impossible, Aaron. No, I swear, the light came on and there was static in a voice. What kind of a voice? I don't know, it sounded like a kid. Well, you must have been dreaming, sweetie. No, it wasn't a dream. It had to be. There was a lightning storm last night. Could that have anything to do with it? Only in the movies. What was the voice saying, Aaron? It was hard to hear. There was a lot of static. But I heard him say Space Commander 1 to Space Commander 2. And also something about being alone on a dark planet. There, dream-wise, that makes sense. You're new in the neighborhood. You haven't made any friends yet. In dreams, often other people are parts of ourselves, right? You probably feel like you're on a dark planet. And there's nothing wrong with that. I have had some very vivid dreams in my life where for a moment I, I thought they were real. Maybe. Is there something wrong with it? Sort of. See, there are no batteries in it. But someone called me on it. Don't be silly, that can't happen. Was it another spaceman? How'd you know? I didn't. I just know how a young man's imagination can run away with itself. If it happens again, don't answer. Space Commander 1. Do you read me, Space Commander 1? This is Space Commander 1. 
I read you, ground control. What do you want? Over. Space Commander One, you have breached protocol. You contacted an outside agency. You were informed that the space program has been canceled. Do you copy, Space Commander One? The space program has been canceled. <laughs> Do you copy, Space Commander One? Do you copy? Do you copy? Space Commander One to Space Commander Two. Do you read me? Read you? Over? Identify yourself. Over? This is Space Commander 2. Mom? Do you read me? Hello? Hello? Mom! Mom! Aaron? Honest, it just happened. I wasn't dreaming this time. Okay, calm down. You don't believe me? You, of course, I believe you. You don't believe me. Well, Aaron, just forget it. He says he heard the voice again? Yes. Through the helmet? Yes. Where is he now? He's up in his room. I'm concerned, Bev. Hearing voices? Do we want to send him to a psychiatrist for an evaluation? Well, let's give it a couple more days. Maybe he's just acting out. From adjusting to a new neighborhood? Exactly. We hope. Exactly. Don't go away. Space Commander 2, properly identify yourself. Over. Just hold on. I need to talk to someone. Mom! Mom! Uh, listen, listen. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. What are we waiting for? There was this spider. It was huge. It surprised me. Wow, I uh, guess it's gone now. Sweetie? Is it the space helmet? Did you hear the voice again? No. If you did, it's okay. You can talk to us. You can talk to us about anything. Um, I was just joking about hearing the voice in the space helmet. Oh my gosh, your face? I didn't think you actually believed me. Really, son? Yeah, you guys. What do you think, I'm a nutcase? Better send him to a psychiatrist. Well, I have to admit, Aaron, that's a relief. <laughs> yeah, well, I uh, gotta get going on my homework. Don't wanna fall behind. You get some sleep. Commander 1 to Space Commander 2. Yeah, 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 it's me. Properly identify yourself. Over. It's Space Commander 2. Why will you only talk to me? Over. This mission is confidential. I repeat, confidential. Do you copy? Over. I copy. What is the mission? Over. Space Commander 2, I am stranded on a dark planet. You have been granted clearance to come to my aid. It is a dangerous journey to another galaxy. 
you may not return. Space Commander 2, do you accept the mission? Over. Space Commander 1, I've waited all my life for a moment like this. I accept the mission with honor. Oh, there you are. Hey, thought you might want to go toss you old pigskin with your dad. I can't right now. Going somewhere? Not supposed to talk about it. Classified, huh? Who told you? Ah, uh, you're just playing around, right? <laughs> yeah. And you too, right? Duh, Dad. Duh. Well, space traveler. If we never meet again, I'll miss you. Same here, Dad. Space Commander 2 to Space Commander 1. Do you read me? Space Commander 1 to Space Commander 2. You're breaking up. Are you inside your ship? Over. Well, I'm inside my room. Over. That is your ship, Space Commander. Can you rendezvous with my ship? Over. I'll need the coordinates for your ship, Space Commander 1. I am orbiting the Andromeda Nebula Galaxy. One, three, one, Maple Street. Over. Space Commander 2 to Space Commander 1. Come in, Space Commander 1. Over. This is Space Commander 1. Your signal is getting stronger. Over. Space Commander 1, I have no batteries. How are you transmitting? Over. An advanced wavelength, Space Commander 2. Top secret. Over. Wow. Space Commander 1, I'm unsure of this destination. Over. Do not be afraid of old wrinkly life forms. They have been disarmed. Decelerate from warp speed and prepare to enter the nebula. Roger that. I'm at the entrance to the nebula. Permission to enter. Over. Permission granted. Over. Space Commander 2 to Space Commander 1. I'm in. Over. You are in my orbit. Journey past the twin moons. Space Commander 1, I'm at the Twin Moons. Over. Well done, Space Commander. Keep to your trajectory. Over. Roger that. Space Commander 2 to Space Commander 1, navigation assistance requested. Over. Follow the path of the comet, Space Commander. Over. I've made visual contact with the comet. Proceeding along its path. Over. Roger that. Over. Space Commander 2 to Space Commander 1. I'm at the star cluster. Over. Navigate 90 degrees starboard, Space Commander 2. Over. Roger. Engaging port thruster. <laughs> Space Commander 1 to Space Commander 2. Are you at the wormhole? Over. That's an affirmative, Space Commander 1. Over. Enter the wormhole, Space Commander 2. Greetings, Space Commander.
Commander Two. Welcome to the Dark Planet. Step over to my craft and take the co-pilot's chair. Over. With pleasure, Space Commander One. You have found each other. No thanks to you, Mother Dear. Uh, he's dead. Maybe his body, but his spirit is still as spoiled as spoiled can be. Blah, blah, blah. When he got sick, I took care of him every single day. And when he passed on, I couldn't bear to part with him. I do love him so. You should have sent me into space. With what? I don't have a rocket. She was trying to abandon me. She canceled the space program. I was trying to move on with my life. You don't have to. I'm happy now. I have a fellow astronaut. I guess if it makes him happy, that's that's all that really matters. This has been so hard for me. Oh, stop it, Mother. You're embarrassing us. I know when I'm not wanted. I'll leave you two spacemen alone. No! Secure the hatch. Prepare to watch. No! January on the Hub is a fight with our January scariest weekend of thrill. I am the Pumpkin King! Three hair-raising movies. Plus, a special director's cut of The Haunting Hour. Do you read me? January Scary Weekend continues next with Monster House, only on The Hub. Whoa!